In high school, I actually really wanted to ski in college, and then I had injuries and kind of setbacks that way, and ended up choosing DU and got here, started the engineering program and really loved it and added on a second engineering degree, so <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> I have a few older brothers and one of them's an electrical engineer himself and so he got his degree when I was in like fifth grade and so he explained to me kind of what engineers do and he said that how engineers have a like strong liking for math and science so that kind of really like opened my eyes to engineering and then as I further moved along through high school uh, I thought it was really interesting that we weren't using more renewable energy uh, generation and so I it was like, oh, well, I feel like we should be using more of that. That's kind of what I want to work with. We have students from all over the spectrum, from students that they are wondering what they want to do with their lives, so they feel lost, from students that they really know already, like, oh, I want to be such and such. Our school is great, especially for students who aren't really sure what kind of path they want to go down yet, because every student takes the same coursework for the first five quarters. And so you get a good mix of electrical engineering, computer engineering, mechanical engineering. So with our curriculum, we have two design projects that we work on. Junior year, we work on a project called Integration and we designed an autonomous uh, rover vehicle. It had to be able to avoid obstacles and climb stairs. So I'm an electrical engineer, but you also have to work with computer engineers and mechanical engineers. During that integration project, we kind of we're able to see more than just, um, we were able to apply what we had learned, but we were also able to see what other things can happen that you wouldn't necessarily see in just a problem in engineering. Uh, it was cool to see it working at the end and go through that process. It was a good primer for going into senior design. For senior design, I'm working on, it's a, an application for water pumping in Morocco. And so we're trying to replace a diesel engine with a renewable energy source. I was originally looking at trying to do this uh, solar powered pump project uh, just because I thought it would tie in a little bit more to what I'm doing, but we're working with Folsom Custom Skis. They have to bend a lot of their edges by hand. They hired us to do is to work with this prototype that they already had that will take in their drawing files and actually bend the skis according to the geometries of that drawing file. Uh, so it's a little bit different from my background and all the courses I've taken. You know, this has been good experience, been a little good way to like kind of like diversify. I've really enjoyed those two classes in particular because it's applying the knowledge that you have learned and also seeing what other like interfacing that you need to consider with different problems. There are many opportunities for undergraduates to get involved in research. They just need to reach out to faculty. I, so I've been working in the unmanned systems lab here and trying, looking at uh, ways to replace conventional flaps on aircraft. That kind of like started me on the role for getting interested in aeronautics. And so I, I saw this internship position and I applied for it and they responded very quickly. <laughs> We fully support and encourage internships. They gain something that we usually cannot offer at the university. Uh, so they see what's happening in the real world. Last summer I worked at NASA Langley Research Center. I worked on um, the design and analysis of a lightweight UAV aiming to like maximize payload capabilities in aircraft. And so we were mimicking birds of prey. A lot of birds of prey can achieve a two to one payload to weight ratio, which is really cool. I think uh, the research that I was doing here kind of helped me with uh, being considered for that position at NASA because there was some correlation. And, and yeah, it's both of those two experiences really like fueled my, my interest in that area. I did an internship last summer at ComEd, which is the utility that serves the Chicago area. I was looking at the, uh, more the integration of renewables to the grid and looking at the, how to improve the reliability of the grid with those renewables. One of my professors here actually helped me. He pushed me uh, to get that internship and he had some connections there. So he was able to distribute my, my resume and my application a little bit, which was nice. Everyone in the department I worked in had gone to grad school. 
And at the time I was kind of on the fence of whether I wanted to go or not. And that really helped solidify for me that I wanted to. So that was kind of an aha moment, figuring out that, okay, you know what? I think that's the next step I want to make in my career path. If you don't have passion, it's going to be painful. <laughs> so it's pretty much if they like what they're doing, even if they fail, even if things don't work, at the end of the day is like, do you like it? Can you leave it for a week or two and then you come back and you can find that energy and motivation? If yes, then it's the way to go. It's super prevalent uh, in today's you know, day and age just because everything is being digitized, everything is done through some sort of processor, some sort of computer. Look into the future. Look at the industry and see what the trend is. Look at the job market. Uh, look at the technology trends. Part of me wants to say, uh, like, be more prepared to go into engineering. Take AP Physics, take, like, some of the classes that would have set me up a little bit better for that. But part of me also wants to say that the way things have worked out have been really great for me. And I think that if it had been different, then I might not have happened across the opportunities that I have here. I'm really happy with the education that I've gotten here. I'm happy with the choices that I've been able to make here and the opportunities that they've led me to. Mm -hmm.